Hello everyone, I'm showing you how to install Blip. This is a pretty easy process, but understand, I didn't um, try making it super easy to use just yet. It still is way easier to use than a lot of other programs that are similar to this, but um, this is alpha software, so keep that in mind. But if there's any issues, then you can comment down below, and there should also be a link where you can submit issues as well in the comments. Um, though I haven't really set that up completely just yet, so it might not be um, in the description the first or second day that um, I post this video. It may take me like a week or something like that, or maybe even a month to actually get it set up, so keep that in mind. It might be a while before I have an official um, issues section in the description. Um, however, these two links should be in the description on the first day, and that is the resources link and the blip, um, not blip, but blender um, link. Um, so when you go to the link for Blender, you can start downloading that. I recommend just download that right now because it's going to take a second. And we can go over to Blip uh, Resources, which is right here. It's going to look like this. We can click Download. And we go to the File Explorer. You should have it inside of your Downloads folder. However, I have it on my desktop. And if we open up the Resources folder, we're going to have two folders just like this. We're going to have a Blip and Blip.zip. Blip.zip is the add-on, and Blip is just a folder with the different executables that I used for this. We have Blip.exe, which is my program, and we have Gzip, which is a program for zipping files and unzipping them. I did um, need that, so I'll make sure those are together. Now, if once you have waited a minute for your Blender get done installing, you uh, not installing but downloading, then you can install it. Blender is very easy to install, and I do not think I need to show you guys how to do that. Um, and if I ended up needing to do that, then I could probably do a video on that later. Um, but right now, once you have it installed, you should be able to open it up. Should be a link on your desk on your desktop, or not a link, but a shortcut on your desktop to open that up. Um, or it should be here under B somewhere. Um, yep, right here, there's a Blender folder. Um, now, once you have this open, I'm not really going to be going over on um, how to use Blender, by the way. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to install the add-on. If you want to learn how, you, how to use Blender, I have some tutorials on it, as well as there's many tutorials online. So um, you should be able to find many just by looking it up on YouTube. Now at the top left, we can go to Edit, scroll down to Preferences, and we have this open. You should start out at in, um, interface, I believe, or somewhere around there. Um, we go down to the middle here and we click on add-ons. Now, once we have this set up, um, it should look like this, roughly. Of course, I already have Blip installed here. Um, however, it should roughly look like this. Now, at the top right um, of this little window here, we can click on install, and we can go to wherever we stored our blip.zip file. Now, what I would recommend you guys to do is right now go to your um, wherever you've stored blip.zip and copy it and just drag it over or you know put it somewhere where you'll um, keep all of your add-ons because you'll probably have more than one add-on for Blender, especially the more you use it. Now for me, in my D drive, I have a Blender folder and I have an add-ons folder. And in there, that's where I've put blip.zip in the past. And that's what I'd recommend you guys to do is put um, uh, put blip, um, not blip, but blip.zip inside of an add-ons folder and inside of a Blender folder. So sort of have a similar, um, it doesn't have to be this way, I would just recommend it doing it this way. Um, because it just keeps um, everything organized because you'll, uh, the more you use Blender, the more files you get. And anyway, it's just typically good to have a good organization for Blender. Um, so now, um, like I said, that step was not necessary. It's just recommended. If you go back to the desktop and go to my resources folder and we have blip.zip, uh, you can download from here if you wanted to. But like I said, uh, better to put it in a file, uh, me a folder. Now, once you click that and you press install, it should show up in here and it should look um, like this. However, well, not like this, it should look like this. However, if it does not show up, you can go to the top right and go to the search bar and type in blip. And then it will show up, um, or at least it should show up. If it doesn't show up, I don't really know what the issue would be. This has worked every time that I've done it for any um, add-on that I've done uh, or I've installed, and I've installed quite a few, so this should work. Now we can just click on this and it should show up right here. And as you can see, it, it should show up pretty immediately. Even if you don't have it installed, it should show up here. And now it's ready to go inside of Blender at least. Now the next thing you'll need to do is have your file explorer open. And especially if you already had it open, you can just leave it open. Now we can go to our resources and we have this folder fold, uh, called blip. And inside of it is our blip.exe and gzip.exe. Now if we copy this, we're gonna go to our C drive and we're just gonna paste it directly into here. Um, and it should sort of look similar here. Um, there should be like program files and stuff like that and users and, and windows and whatnot. And this is where your blip folder should go. 
um, as you can see, that's where I have mine. And this is where um, the add-on is searching for my program that I've made. And if it's not there, it will not work. Now, if you want to learn how to actually use Blip, I did a video on that previously, so you can definitely look that up. It should be there. Um, understand if you're doing really big um, schematics, um, I did have a slight issue with it because of um, how I did not do schematic files correctly when I initially made Blip. Understand this is alpha software and that is, yes, a glitch I know about and I can fix. However, I'm restructuring the way that I'm doing it to make it easier to program for me and easier to use and download for you guys as well. So hopefully in the future, this will be much easier to install. Um, however, for right now, this is what we are working with. So um, please forgive me. This is something that I've uh, done to make things easier. Um, however, it's going to take a little bit before we get to um, a more complete state. So um, anyway, I hope you guys um, end up enjoying the program. If you guys make anything, definitely, um, you know, send me the uh, messages on different social media platforms. I have quite a few. However, I don't look at hardly any of them. Um, which is sort of unfortunate, but, um, but you probably will be able to find me on, oh, Planet Minecraft is a good one, for example. You can definitely at me on Planet Minecraft, or um, Twitter is an okay one, and then um, do some YouTube videos and do like a hashtag blip, or, and you know I believe you can at people um, in YouTube videos now, so definitely do that, and I'll try to get to those as many, as many as I can. I don't know if I'll get a notification or anything like that, but I'll, I'll try remembering, and you know comment down below if you do make a video um, like that where you're making something at blip. I'd love to see it. Um, and it definitely inspired me to try to work on this a lot more if I actually get to see what you guys are making. So I'm excited to see what you guys do. Have a fun time. I'm sorry for the glitch. You'll probably notice it. Luckily, it's easy to fix. It, you can literally just make a selection and move it over um, because it's, it, for the most part, it literally just moves like a single block, um, gets messed up. So it should be pretty easy. But for hope, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this is it. So um, have fun. Watch some other tutorials on how to use Blender and how to use Blip together and stuff like that. Um, the link will be in the description as well on that tutorial. So have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.